Hey everyone, the Potrat here, and in this video, I'm going to give you a broad overview of how I currently do my drawings. Nothing too drastically different, but I definitely put a more conscious effort into creating a large form and get that 3D feel going before all else. And Marvel, please don't sue me, this is for educational purposes only. <laughs> Okay, so I'm using the image apparently all the news sites are using regarding the movie trailer um, announcement. The details are a little fuzzy, but this isn't about that. And we're all pretty familiar with Scarlett Johansson aka Black Widow's visage at this point. So when you first start drawing, you generally look at a reference as a 2D image to duplicate. And that's fair. And everybody goes through that. But at some point, unless you go to art school or have easy access to workshops with real life models, you really need to look at what the image is showing you and imagine that as a 3D reference. Now this brings about a lot of great consequences. Now all these other things come into play, such as what is the 3D structure that you are drawing? What is the type of lighting coming from? soft light, hard light, and from what direction, and how is it affecting the subject. You would then have to know what part is what shadow, cast shadow versus form shadow, because all that changes if you were to creatively change the angle or lighting around. Now some people can say, well how does that help me as an artist? Now with this new way of looking at the subject and all the knowledge surrounding it, you are much more able to creatively make changes and create and design whatever you want, instead of being slaved to the reference. What would the shape be if you were to look at the subject from a different angle? Now all these are big topics that I can go into details later, but my main point is that you should always challenge yourself and constantly try to improve what you do and the way you think about doing them. In this video, my goal at first is really just to create a messy but recognizable 3D sculpture that is accurate enough that I can then draw all the features on. Now some of you might realize at the end of the video that in my drawing, I actually rotated her face slightly toward us. I mean it's very subtle, but this is something that is uh, fairly difficult for me to do in the past. And it's still difficult, but I am practicing on it. I mentioned this many times before. Relatively speaking, details are easy. As long as you get the large structure right, you know, for the human face, the cheekbone, chin, eye socket, which if you are not sure what shape or where it should be, the bottom part can be kind of imprecise regarding our eye socket, but the top part is almost always outlined by the eyebrow. The bottom of the nose, the bottom of the lips, once you get those key proportions, you know, fairly uh, correct, it is much easier for you to tweak things and much easier for you to just feel if something is off. You don't have to measure angles and lines and distance nearly as much. Your right brain will kick in and just let you know by feeling whether you are on the right track. So for me, that is about this part here. Actually, I felt like I was on the right track like a while back, but this stage definitely confirms that. Where I remember thinking to myself, this is enough for me to fine tune and add details to bring Black Widow out because I feel like the structure is mostly correct. But I can also change things and make this a drawing of Rey from Star Wars because their proportion at this angle is very similar. But this is something that I, I could never do if I just stuck with my old method or old way of thinking. So this is an overview of how I prefer to think about doing drawings these days. And I hope the video process makes sense. You should be able to have a very strong sense of the form of what you are drawing as soon as possible basically. Like I said, this is an overview. And now I can go into detail regarding anything I mentioned. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I do read them with as much time as I can. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And until next time, cheers!